Let us introduce you to Robert Shenton's Grocery on Taylor's Island, and with it, its owner and proprietor, Robert Shenton. 89 years worth of warmth, wisdom, and wit. For many years after its opening in 1948, Shenton's Grocery was sort of a hub of Taylor's Island life, but time has long since passed it by. It was good then. It was, it was good. I had pinball machines. I had jukeboxes. I, I had uh, a punch boards. Felt. Robert Shenton has very few customers these days. Some days, not too many. And some days, one, not quite that many. But don't shed any tears for Robert. At age 89, that doesn't bother him one bit. He's happy just the way things are. Every afternoon, we're here. We're here. And there's some, we come here, set you and get them talk, and have a social good time, and that's it. His is a place where one feels valued, where loitering and lingering are not commercial liabilities, where conversation and camaraderie prevail. Socializing, not merchandising, is spoken here. Robert says he slacked up storekeeping after his wife died seven years ago, but still keeps himself busy crabbing in the summer and sometimes making a few decoys in the winter. Are you still carving? I haven't day? carved any one this year. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did you find that fun? Did you like to carve? Yeah, it, it's fun. I, I don't have any carving tools, just a hatchet and a knife. At 89, Robert Shenton is in good health. Says he's never drank or smoked, but candidly admits he has been less than saintly. I used to love to chase women. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened to that? Don't you still like it? Well, what the hell would I do if I caught one? 